Hello, I'm Peter Buckley, and as a conference speaker and presentation skills coach and mentor, often people say to me, I'm too scared to get up and speak in public. I say, sure, it's pretty much the same for everyone when they first do it, or even the first dozen times. After all, it's generally considered one of the most scary things you can do on the planet. When you need to make that convincing sales pitch, motivate staff and colleagues, or sell your abilities to a potential employer, if you can't get your message across clearly and concisely, you're not likely to get the results you're after from those key decision makers. Having developed my own prowess over many years as a broadcaster, speaker, MC and moderator, it means what you get is not all theory or something from an internet search, it's tried and tested, solid, practical, real-world information. And we do have some fun in the delivery as well. I've actually had people say, oh yes, you put a paperclip in your pocket and just, and just hang on to the paperclip while you're talking. It just detracts you from you know, your fears and the, and the people looking at you. I thought, yeah, that's a good idea. You put a paperclip in your pocket and you stand there going. <laughs> I've forgotten what I'm talking about, but I'm having a good time. In my experience, with presentation skills, there are times when the very things that adversely affect the performance of, say, a uni student or an athlete can be just the same as for the high-performance teams, managers and leaders of multinational corporations. If you've worked in HR or sales, you know the frustrations when teams don't communicate properly, either with each other or with potential clients. When working one-on-one -on -one or with a team of people, we identify and highlight their good points and generate processes to strengthen their weaknesses. And the challenges of presenting aren't confined to just one or two industries. I've worked with people from finance, politics and sport, through to PR, marketing and mining. Why so diverse? It's the people factor. So if you're planning an event that needs something engaging, informative and entertaining with both professional development and personal development factors, we should chat. And if you happen to spot me at a conference or airport somewhere, come on over and say good day.